I'm Young Librarian and I'm about to talk about what I've read this month. Yes, I am. You know I am, right? Hi everyone, welcome to my June wrap-up video. I'm going to be talking about all the books that I've read in the month of June in 2016. And I believe I've read seven books in total this time. I'm on my eighth one at the minute, but I'm not going to mention that because I'm only about 20 pages into it. So I'll have to wait for next month. So let's get cracking. So the first book that I finished was Dexter is Dead by Jeff Lindsay and I mentioned that I was reading that at the end of last month's wrap up and in that video I also mentioned my love-hate relationship with the Dexter series. Basically when it comes down to it I really like the idea of Dexter and I like Dexter as a character but I've always had an on-off relationship with how Jeff Lindsay writes, especially when it comes to writing his characters. Now as I said Dexter as a character is fantastic but when it comes to female characters Lindsay hasn't written a female character well in all of his books and I think was Dexter's Dead I think is the eighth book in the series so he's done eight books and not one woman has been well represented in any of them. When it comes to writing women Jeff Lindsay seems to have two polar opposites. He has the extremely aggressive no bullshit won't take anything from anyone and she's an extreme cow no matter what happens or you've got the extremely passive sort of pushover on the other side. There's no middle ground for the women and I hoped that this book was going to change that and it didn't. There weren't really any women in this book. It mainly just followed around Dexter and his brother and it's all about Dexter trying to prove his innocence for a murder that he didn't actually commit and this book was really quick to read, it was really easy to read but it didn't actually feel like a Dexter novel and I found it to be a really disappointing end to a series I know, I mean, I say that it was a love-hate relationship and I didn't really like his style, but I read the books and I did enjoy them for what they were. I can't remember what styles I gave any of these books I'm going to talk about on Goodreads, because I'm kind of new to Goodreads. And I don't really do ratings and reviews. If you've watched any of my videos, you should know that by now. So the next book I read was Kraken by China Miaival, or Miaival, however you want to pronounce his name. But I'm glad that I picked this up for about £1.50 on eBay, because my God, was it boring. I just couldn't get into it. The writing style was so awkward and I just struggled. You know, it felt like every single page took a lot of effort to read through. And I don't know if it was just the film of mine that I was in or if that I was just especially tired the week that I was trying to read this one, but it just wasn't for me. I really struggled to finish it. I came close to putting it down and walking away several times because I knew I had other books that I wanted to read that I'd find way more interesting than this. I've never read one of China Marvel's books before, so Kraken is the first one. And I know people who love his stuff, and they've told me several times that that is one of his weaker books. But, you know, I picked it up for really cheap. It was like £1.50, whatever I said, and it was on eBay. And it's an ex-library book, and it's in really good quality as well. So, you know, it'll look good when I finally get some bookshelves, when I find some space. I have one bookshelf, and it's full of pop vinyls and DVDs. My books are in a drawer. I need my socks. It's a good place to keep them. No one's going to think of looking there when they rob me. Now, the next book that I read was fantastic, and that was Fellside by M.R. Carey. Now, this is his second novel, his first one being The Girl With All The Gifts, which I did a review for on my channel a few months ago, and I really enjoyed that book as well. And with that one, that one was more sci-fi. This one is supposed to be, I guess it's more of a horror mystery thriller type thing. We have it shelved in the modern section for some reason, but I would definitely shove it over in the sci-fi fantasy sort of area. And basically the book follows Jess Morgan, who basically got high off her tits, burnt down her apartment, and has been sentenced for killing the little boy that lived upstairs in the fire. And when she goes to this prison, she not only has to adjust to life in this high security prison for women in the Yorkshire Moors in England, but she also has these weird visions and dreams where she talks to the boy that she apparently killed. And I read this book really, really quickly. I mean, I just find his writing style to be so fluid and he gives some details and some merit he skips over, but you can devour the chapters really easily. But I would highly recommend that you get yourself a copy of this book or you go and borrow it from your local library because it's fantastic. Now the next book that I read I believe is the very first book in the science fiction masterwork series and that's The Forever War by Joe Haldeman. Now this book is quite a condensed book. I mean it's not that long but it covers a lot of ground in the sense that it's all about pretty much one character and how he joins the war but it's all about how they go through these weird portals and it means that it's all about relative time so 
whilst they travel for maybe six months and end up being on some other planet for a year, it transpires that about 80 years have passed back in our galaxy, in our universe. And it's all about how every time they come back to Earth, things have totally changed. This is whole period where the whole world goes gay, which, you know, sounds like heaven to me. But it's a bit, uh, do we really want to stay here? Let's go back into space. I don't want to get bummed. But it's a really interesting, it's more of a character study. I think it's classed as military sci-fi. But it focuses on basically this guy's life and how he has to adjust the fact that every time he comes back, his family have changed, the world's changed, he doesn't really know people. He's kind of put on this pedestal as being this mighty war hero. Even though he, to him, relatively, he's only been in the force for about, you know, maybe five years or something like that. But everyone else thinks he's been in it for hundreds. And it was really easy to read. It's really short. It only took maybe... Oh, only took me a few hours to get through because it was chucking it down here and I didn't have anything else to do because I have no life. But I really recommend picking it up, especially if you're a fan of things like Starship Troopers. You know, it'd probably be your kind of thing. I feel like I'm squinting a lot at the camera. You know, I, the sun's not even in my face. I think I've just got to that age where I'm so stressed out and grumpy with life and work that I just have a constant squint about me. What are you fucking looking at? My videos. Oh, keep looking, keep looking. I need the views. Now the next two books that I read were a series I've never gone into before and that's the Nightside series by Simon R. Green. And if you've not heard of the Nightside series, basically it's an urban fantasy about a detective, kind of in the vein of Jim Butcher's um, Dresden Files series, but it takes place in London and they follow private detective John Taylor who has the special power and ability that allow him to find anything that he can think of, no matter where it is or how well hidden it is. And the first book is called Something from the Night Side, and it basically picks up with John Taylor, who's fled the Night Side, which is sort of like the hidden, darker parts of London, full of anything and everything you could think of or never want to think of. And he's approached to go and help find some woman's daughter who's run away to the Night Side, and John has this reputation. Wherever he goes, people are scared of him. And there's all this thing about a prophecy and all about his parents. And as I said, I've only read the first two books, so I'm not really sure what's that's going on there, but people are terrified of him. And he seems to have some abilities, but I'm guessing it's going to be kind of like the Dresden Files books, where as they go along, he's going to get progressively more and more powerful. And the second book in the series that I read is called The Agents of Light and Darkness, which basically follows around John trying to find the Unholy Grail, which instead of the Holy Grail, which was used by Jesus at the Last Supper, the Unholy Grail was the one that Judas drank from before he betrayed Jesus. And basically it's all about he has to find it quickly because angels from heaven and hell are descending on the night side and they're basically fucking shit up. They're killing a lot of people. And as with a lot of urban fantasy, it's first person, the character's got some wit in him, it's quite funny. It's more dark and probably, I kind of want to say more grown up than the Dresden Files at times. It feels more visceral. Visceral's probably a better word for it. I just really liked the character of John Taylor and I can't wait to see where he goes. And the two that I've read so far are pretty short stories really. There wasn't didn't take that long to read through them. And I think there are quite a few of them in the series, so I look forward to getting to a few more, but I would highly recommend them, especially for fans of Jim Butcher. And the last book that I read this month was a book that I read whew, probably about eight years ago maybe, and that's Karen Slaughter's first book in the Grant County series, which is the crime novel Blindsighted. And when I first read this book, it came in a little box set of the first three books in the Grant County series, and they were given to me by my granddad. And my granddad gave them to me, warning me, saying that they were a bit gritty and a bit too violent and a bit too much for his tastes. Mind you, I hadn't stopped him reading the second and third book in the series after he'd thought about the first one, but I took them away and I read them, and this was kind of when I was getting into trying different genres, so I'd say it was probably one of the first crime books that I ever read. And I remember when I first read it that I did think it was really graphic and really vicious. I mean, from the off, you find out that the blind lecturer that was killed in the toilet stall in the diner was also raped in the cut that's made in her stomach. That's quite shocking. Basically, the other day at work, someone brought back the first book in the series, Blindsighted, and it reminded me that after reading those first three books, which I really did enjoy, I never went and read the rest of them. So I decided, well, why not do it now? So I reread it because I couldn't really remember much about it, but it wasn't as shocking this time because... I don't know, I'm a librarian and I've read some shit since then. So yeah, that's all of it. I read seven books this month, so it's been quite a good month. But as I said, the weather down here has been absolutely shit. So I've not really had much else to do apart from going to work. And I'm trying to blame the weather on the fact that I had lots of free time because I don't want to blurt out again that I have no life and no friends and I don't go see anyone and I just sit on the sofa near my window reading to myself all the time when I'm not crying and rocking myself to sleep in the dark, dark nights. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. As I said, I am reading a book at the minute, but I'm not going to talk about it because I only started it the other day. It's just a book that I actually plucked off the shelf randomly at work when I was waiting for a colleague to come and, you know, move some books around with me. Which is a good way of picking a book. I would suggest just going in there and just going, uh, I'm bored. Ooh, I'll read this book. It kind of works. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.